Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jeff. If you're a Christian entrepreneur like me, you know how important it is to build our businesses on the foundation of God's Word. That's why I wrote my new devotional, Navigating Entrepreneurship Through the Lens of Scripture, a 30-day journey for Christian entrepreneurs. And I wanted to let you know that it's now available on Amazon. And you can also check it out at navigatingbiblicalentrepreneurship.com forward slash devotional. Welcome to Business God's Way podcast. My name is Jeff Elder, and I'm an online business coach, Christian leader, and funnels expert. This show is where we help established Christian online coaches create more income, freedom, and impact while keeping God at the center of everything we do as entrepreneurs and leaders. Let's dive into today's episode. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Business God's Way podcast. My name is Jeff Elder. I am the host. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. Hope you are doing well. Hope God is continuing to bless uh, you and your business and that he continues to reveal more and more of himself in the process of you building that business. Today, I want to talk about this idea of work and worship, work and worship. And I want us to start thinking about, well, I want us to think about worship maybe a little bit differently than we tend to think about worship. When we tend to think about worship, we usually think about going to church, standing up and singing worship songs. Or maybe we play worship songs in the car and we find ourselves singing along and we find ourselves just entering into these moments of, of worship. Or maybe at home, sometimes you get in the mood to just want to worship. And so you begin to sing, whether you sing with or without music. It just really depends on how the Lord leads, right? But we usually, we usually connect music to worship. We usually connect singing to worship. And those are absolutely correct things. Those are biblical uh, forms of worship, totally. I want to talk about a different form of worship. And I want to talk about how our lives, the way that we live our lives in front of the Lord and in front of other people is also an act of worship. We find in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, Paul says, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God. Now, here's, here's the important part. To present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which, get this, which is your spiritual worship. My friends, worship goes way beyond songs. It goes way beyond singing. It goes way beyond what we do on Sunday mornings at church or in the privacy of our car or in the privacy of our home. You see, that's only part of it. But Paul tells us in Romans chapter 12 that our whole bodies are to be presented to God as a living as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. This is our spiritual form of worship. Now what does it mean to to submit or to offer our bodies as living sacrifices? Well, it means that we surrender we surrender to the Lord and we do the things that God calls us to.
to do. We live a life that reflects the holiness of God. Now, we're not talking about perfection here because we all stumble. But it is an attitude of being willing to submit to the Lord, to sacrifice our own desires, our own needs, to put those things on the altar so that God's will and God's purpose can be lived in us and through us. This is spiritual worship. So not only is it about us singing to the Lord with song or maybe without song, but it has a lot more to do with the day-to-day-to-day -to -day -to -day activities that we submit ourselves to. So what are we submitting ourselves to? Are we submitting ourselves to the will of God? Are we making sacrifices every day that show our commitment to want to do the will of God? What are we doing? What are we doing every day to ensure that we are living a life of a Christ follower? And how we live our lives, this plays into every aspect of our life. It even plays into entrepreneurship. It plays into what we are doing with our business and in our business. Because how we conduct our business is also a form of worship. Because if we are coming into our business surrendered, wanting to do God's will, wanting God to use his business the way that he wants to use it, and we are allowing him to work in us and through us in our business to carry out his purpose, then what we do in our business that aligns with those things is an act of worship. That is how we can worship God in our business, is by submitting our business to him, being led by him, making business decisions by him, bringing on the clients that we want to work with, everything, bringing all of that into alignment with God's purpose, with God's plan, and walking in obedience in that, my friend, that is an amazing, amazing act of worship. It is an amazing act of worship because we are presenting our bodies as living sacrifices in our business, surrendered, sacrificing the, the, the things that we want, our own desires, our own pleasures, our own pursuit of whatever it is we're trying to pursue after that does not align with God's will or God's pleasure. When we do those things, that is not worship. Well, actually, it is worship. <laughs> it's just we, work, we, we are worshiping ourselves at that point. We become the focus of the worship. And that's not what we want. We want our focus of our worship to be God. We want the focus of our business to be about God. And so every day when we come in to your office or wherever it is that, that your business is located, whenever you walk into that location, have the mindset that today you are going to sacrifice your own desires, your own ambitions. Sacrifice whatever it is that gets in the way of Jesus being the Lord 
of your business. Because when we can do that, when we can make those sacrifices, we change from worship in self to worship in God. And so how do we cultivate this mindset of worship? Because I'm going to be really transparent here. This is something that I struggle with. This is something I have to constantly remind myself, Jeff, my work and how I work is a form of worship. How I choose or not choose to, to, to offer sacrifices to the Lord, sacrifices of my desires, of my wants, of my needs, over the, over the will of God, It is a daily thing that I must do. I must offer this sacrifice daily. I must be reminded that I need to make this sacrifice. And how I live my life is to be a sacrifice. This doesn't just apply to business. This applies to every day. Every day living, no matter what we do, no matter what we're called to do. Spiritual wish, worship begins with sacrificing of ourself. And so how do we do this? I want to give you three, three steps, three steps to take. The first one is you have to pray. You have to seek God and, and ask him, God, please, please remind me that that there is a purpose in what you've called me to do. And Lord, please give me this, this vision of that purpose. Because when I see the vision and I see the purpose, then everything that I do in my business is a reminder that there is an even bigger purpose behind it. Whatever your business is, whatever your product is, or your service, whatever that is, you have to understand that those are just opportunities for you to honor the Lord. Even in the small tasks that we do every single day that are just so mundane and boring and we don't want to do it, we have to remind ourselves those things, they all present this incredible opportunity to honor the Lord. And honoring the Lord is one way that we worship Him. Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand, that we should walk in them. My friends, we have been created for a purpose. We are God's handiwork. We are his workmanship. God worked in us before the foundation of the world. God has prepared each one of us for a specific purpose. And when we see the everyday opportunities that we have before us to walk in that truth that we have been created to fulfill a purpose, it brings a whole new light to the things that we do in our business. There is purpose behind what we do. And when we can embrace that, and when, when we can walk into that, that is where worship begins. It begins by us acknowledging that in life and in business, we are presented with multiple opportunities each and every day to honor Him. Therefore, we must continue to pray 
and ask God to help develop that vision within us. That vision that helps us to see that no matter what we are doing on any given day inside of our business, there is purpose for what we do. Number two, serve. Serve. We got to find new ways to serve your clients, to serve those you work with, to serve anybody that comes that, that you have influence over. Serve them. Serve them well. Because when we serve people, this is how people will know that we are children of God. And when people know that we are children of God, God gets the glory. And it's in that glory that service becomes an act of worship. John thirteen thirty five. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. My friends, we are living in a world right now where love just seems so absent. People are starving for connection. They are starving for people to come alongside of them and to love them. And one of the ways we do that is by serving them. And this is why service is a sacrifice sometimes. It's because service isn't always comfort comfortable. Service often means we sacrifice something. Again, we sacrifice our own needs, our own desires, our own wants. We serve even when we don't feel like it. And because service in and of itself is an act of sacrifice, that is why when we step into that and when we serve people, it is an act of worship. So find new ways to serve your clients, to serve your co-workers, to serve those who work under you. Serve them. And when you do, that, my friend, is a form and an act of worship. Number three, the last thing is pursue excellence. Pursue excellence. Do your best work possible do your best work possible. And I'm not talking about perfectionism here. But as, as Christians, there should be a higher element of excellence in what we do. Not because we want to be prideful, not because we want to show off how good we are or how better we are. No. Why do we pursue excellence as Christians? Colossians 3.23, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for men. You see, our work at the end of the day, we're doing it for the Lord. We're doing it for him. We are representing the Lord in our work. I want that to sink in for a minute. This part really, this verse really convicted me. I want you to think about this. When you're working with a client, ask yourself, why am I doing this? Am I trying to please the client? Sure, on some level. But at the end of the day, you're working for the Lord. You're representing the Lord. And how we present ourselves at work and the work that we do, there should be a level of excellence 
that rises just a bit above those who don't know the Lord. Because our work is a reflection of our relationship with the Lord. And it can be used as an, as an amazing testimony. An amazing testimony. And so we have to strive for excellence, not perfection. But we have to ask ourselves, am I doing the best work possible here? Or am I just getting a little bit lazy? Am I putting forth my best efforts here? Or am I just being lazy? Am I representing the Lord in the best possible manner that I can in the work that I do? Or am I misrepresenting the Lord? That's a question for you to answer. It's a question for me to answer. So this is what I wanted to share today is this idea of worship and work and the connection of the two and how we can start moving into more of a mindset of thinking about how does the work that we do, how is that a form of worship? And how can we do more of that? How can we glorify God more in the work that we do? How can we honor him more in the work that we do? So I would challenge you to take these three things to heart, to pray about them, to actually do these things. And as you do, and as you make the sacrifices that are needed to do these things, my friends, that is when your bodies are presented before the Lord as living sacrifices. And when we do that, Romans 12, 1 says, this is holy and acceptable by God. God is pleased when we make these sacrifices to worship him with our whole lives, with our bodies, and with the things that we surrender to him so that his will can be achieved, so that his purposes can be fulfilled. So I hope this episode was helpful for you. I'd love to, to hear your feedback. You can message me over on Instagram. You can find me there at Jeff Elder BGW. I'd love to get your feedback. Let me know, what are some of your thoughts on this? What are some ways in which you find in work that that you can worship the Lord. How do you do that? What are some things that you do to make sure that throughout your day you're being mindful of how to worship the Lord and how work can impact that? So hit me up over there. I'd love to, to hear from you. I love you guys. I am praying for you guys. And as always, continue to do business God's way. <laughs>